Einstein was once rumored to be on a train when the conductor comes in and asks him for his ticket. Einstein couldn't produce his ticket, so the young man said, I'll be back in a few minutes. A few minutes later, he did come back. Einstein had pulled his pockets inside out. His luggage was all over the compartment. His hair was already genetically a mess. The young man looks at him and says, hey, I recognize you. You're that famous scientist. You're Albert Einstein. Well, don't worry, sir. We trust you. At which point Einstein put his arms around the young conductor and said, son, it goes far beyond trust. It's about direction. You see, I don't know where I'm going. Class of 2011, I'd like to be able to give you two last directives so that you are not confused or lost like Einstein. Live a righteous life and go to college because you really do come to school to get an education. In your pursuit for this righteous life, remember what Aristotle said some 2,300 years ago. Excellence is a habit. It's not an act. Good habits are hard to develop, but they're easy to live with. Honesty, integrity, punctuality. Bad habits are easy to develop, but they're hard to live with. Lying, cheating, stealing. Which will you choose? Because each and every one of you must choose, because each and every one of you is a leader. Because if you're not leading anyone or anything else, you'd better be leading yourself. Because if you're not, who is? And what choices are they making for you? Remember, there's two kinds of leaders in this world. The self-serving leader and the servant leader. The servant leader understands that leadership is defined by one word. Service. While the self-serving leader is selfish and self-centered. Which will you choose to be? There's two kinds of leaders that have left their mark on this world. The Adolf Hitlers and the Abraham Lincolns. The Hitlers lie, cheat, and steal their way to the top. While the Lincolns are men and women of integrity who are under a constant attack on a daily basis because they have chosen to live lives of righteousness. Which will you choose to be? Remember, there's two kinds of people. The kind that no matter where they go, they leave trash. And the kind that no matter where we go, we're picking up after someone else's trash. Again, which will you choose to be? I have given you a new name. I have called you achievers, and rightly so. Because even when you were going through your tough times and you felt like an underachiever, you were still an achiever. In your pursuit for this righteous life, you're going to come across two words. Failure and success. But now you understand that failure is an event, not a person. And that failure, like yesterday, really did end last night. And success... Success is not how high you reach, it's how high you bounce when you hit rock bottom. Now you recognize the value of picking a peer group carefully, because bad company really does corrupt good character. John Eldridge says, every boy is a man and every girl a princess. And that's the way I choose to remember each and every one of you. In his book, Blessings, Bill Glass says, we should be giving affirmations to the people around us, our mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, husbands, wives, the person who's at the door when we leave in the morning. We should be saying, today I will honor you. Today I will make you proud. Or a simple, I love you. So I'd like to conclude with a passage from his book, You're mine and I love you. You're terrific and I'm proud of you. Class of 2011, it has been my honor to teach and serve you. Jehovah bless each and every one of you. Thank you.